I fail to do my job, basically, people will die. The army will go to war, they will need equipment with them. So everything that deal with logistics support service to the British Army, that is my role. I am in charge of a team of skills technicians. We have responsibility for all the basic systems which allow a ship to be a ship, and then other people build on top of that to make a warship. The, the military is a melting pot of, of people. We have everyone in society based here. My name is Sergeant Agbleka, a logistics specialist serving in the British Army. I'm Padre Rebecca Cannon and I'm station chaplain at RAF Benson in Oxfordshire. I am Lieutenant Commander Jonathan Tweed. I am an officer in the Royal Navy and I'm the Marine Engineer Officer of HMS Argyle. I see people day to day who are suffering from stress, from PTSD, from mental health issues. You need a situation that beyond your ability to realize that indeed God asked you to call on him. When I was in Afghanistan, the regiment was uh, warned of that there would be IDF attack on the camp. And actually I prayed to God that your protection is my savior. You can only deliver me. I want you to deliver me with all my friends, all the people that I'm with. And indeed the IDF did happen. And where it landed, Everybody will expect that our building should have been destroyed. But God kept our building safe and everybody within it was safe. So uh, as we're getting towards the end of our most recent deployment, so we came across a merchantman that was on fire. So it was also dark, reasonably cold. There was a high waves which were causing us to roll heavily uh, as we sat in the water because we had to try and uh, get these survivors on board. hoisting people onto our upper deck and it was testament to the, to the skill and dedication of our, of our sailors that nobody was injured, it was certainly challenging. One of the lovely things about being a padre is that you, you sort of, you're there as a, as, a, as a conduit. We could easily tip into just being social workers but actually the faith aspect uh, is the thing that grounds us. I think what's important for me as a, as a Christian is to have a, a basis of prayer to permeate everything that I do. If I don't, then it's me doing it in my own, my own strength, if you like. It's me doing it alone. For me, prayer is about being. It's about being present to the presence. And then from there, allowing that to seep out and touch others. Prayer to me is, is everything. Prayer to me is a communication with your maker. And Jeremiah 3, 3 says, call unto me and I will answer you. It's the process by which I sort of remind myself of, of deeper purpose and, and deeper reality in life beyond you know, all of the, the sights and sounds that crowd our senses and, and are always crying for our attention. If you want to experience God, if you want to encounter God, you have to have that communication. Prayer should be our daily life. He said, pray with that season and pray with all kind of prayer. There can sometimes be a, a temptation to pray for the machinery um, because it creates a, a lot of work when it breaks down. But um, and sometimes you know, God uses prayer to, to redirect me and show me where, where I'm getting things wrong. And sometimes he just helps me to know the right way and the best way to, to support and to lead other people. If I can be with others in some of the most difficult aspects of their lives, if I can have the strength to be with them and just be, then it sometimes gives them the ability to cope and know that there's someone alongside them praying for them and being with them in a world that's quite busy, a world that's quite fragmented, a world that's got lots of pain. So to me, my excitement about Jesus is that he is the only son of God. So when you believe in this Jesus, one, you believe in him that he is the son of God, and he came in a human form, that it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter your qualification, it doesn't matter your position. If you can humble yourself and say that, God, 
you have not done anything wrong, but because of my sin, you came down and died for me. And I believe in you. I want you to save my life. This man will save your life. 